In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new console on your Xbox app and how to connect your Xbox app to your Xbox console. If you're new here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, find it helpful or enjoy the effort that I'm putting in, then give me a thumbs up. I have more Xbox helpful videos that you can find here on the channel in my Xbox updates playlist. So that's the reason why you should smash that subscribe button because there's a lot more that I help you with. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's show you how this is done and how you can connect your Xbox app to your Xbox console. So you can do things like playing remotely, streaming your content to your phone from your Xbox and controlling your Xbox with your mobile phone. Let's get into it and show you how to connect your Xbox app to your Xbox console. In your Xbox console settings under devices and connections, select remote features. Here you want to enable remote features, which will allow you to install new games, play games on your console and more, including turning on and controlling your console from your mobile phone. Once this is enabled, you want to select Xbox apps preferences. Here, I advise that you select only from profiles signed in on this Xbox console. This will stop anyone from connecting to your console that you do not want to connect into your console. This will also make the next stage a lot easier. Once this is done, you can back out of your Xbox settings. We have completed this stage. You can also test your remote play. Testing your remote play tests if there's any problems between when you're connecting to your Xbox console from your mobile phone using the Xbox application. Any connection issues will be displayed here. You can see that I have one issue, but it's also not an issue that will completely stop me from using this remote play feature. If you're happy with what you see here, you move on to the next stage. Open the Xbox application on your mobile phone. This is what the Xbox apps look like. You want to select the Xbox at the top. Inside of the application, when you have connected, you will be displayed with this menu. You can also see that I am using my Xbox profile that I use to game, and I'm appearing offline. Now I'm going to take you to the next stage that you will need to complete in order to connect your Xbox app to your Xbox console. This says set up a console. You have two options, set up a new console or add an existing console. You also have the option to turn on your features. You want to do this. But in the next stage, I'm going to make things a lot easier for you. The main menu will look like this when you first sign into the app. Use sign in. By using the Xbox sign in feature, you will be able to sign in using your Xbox Live account. This will be the email that's displayed at the top of your Xbox profile when you sign in on your Xbox console and it will display in the top left hand corner of the screen. Once you've signed in using your email combination, you will then be able to access your remote play using the Xbox app. Here you can see that I'm accessing games via my mobile phone and it is loading directly on my Xbox console screen. You can see that Far Cry 6, Skyrim and other games are loading instantly as I'm using a next generation Xbox console being the Xbox Series S and I also have that quick loading feature. By launching on my console you will see that the game will load instantly. How cool is that? Quick resume using the Xbox console. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I have more help for Xbox videos which you can find in my Xbox updates playlist. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.